Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a rainy, if you are in Maine, a rainy morning. I know in the Topsom area, we supposedly got four to six inches of rain just in the last probably 12 hours. So um, you may be able to hear in the background of this tape, we have a metal roof in our house, and when it's pouring outside, we actually, you can hear the raindrops hitting the roof. So uh, that's what the background noise is as we speak. So welcome to a rainy Sunday. Uh, in this edition of HRD 630, the overview video, I'm going to touch upon just a, a couple of concepts and, and get into the actual to-do for the week. But what I wanted to just start off with saying is that we're, we're moving into our module two, which is facilitating learning and vulnerable, vulnerability. Um, some of what you're seeing on the screen is from me, and some came from Emily McRobbie. Um, but I will just tell you the what we're going to be exploring in in the next four weeks is just that. You know, how do you facilitate learning, and and how do you, or how do you open yourself up to at least being vulnerable? And I'll tell one story over um, over quite a few years. I I've, I've done a lot of facilitation and, and, and I've done umpteen presentations and facilitation for whatever reason in, in the organizations that I've always worked for, worked with. <clears throat> I became the facilitator for the big group meetings and the discussion meetings and the division meetings and, and that was my role. That was, uh, however I got there, I, I can't tell you. Some of it could be early on in my career, I, I did some advanced training on facilitation and, and just started building on that. But my journey in this whole whole concept of being vulnerable really started when I worked for the University of New Hampshire. I was an extension educator in Grafton County, New Hampshire. And I will never forget the, really it was, it was probably the first year that I was in the job. Now this job involved a lot of doing, a lot of facilitation, a lot of presentation. And I was um, asked to do a presentation, facilitated discussion in a public meeting. Um, I went to the meeting, I was petrified. I went to the meeting and I started the meeting. I got halfway through my talk and I literally froze. I couldn't remember where I was as far as the presentation. I got all flustered. Um, it it, it didn't, didn't turn out that well. And I look back at that time thinking, wow, you know, first of all, I've, I've made myself or I've, I've come a long way in that aspect. And some of it is I've, I do certainly have more confidence in, in what I do, but I also practice a tremendous amount. Um, but one thing that came out looking through the materials this week, one thing that was very apparent was that way back then, I don't, I don't believe that I was being authentic in, in what I was doing. And I don't mean by that starting off a presentation by saying, I'm really nervous. I, I hope I don't screw up. No, it just means that at that point, I was 24 years old. I, I really didn't know, um, didn't know myself that well. And I was, I was trying to act. I was trying to pretend that I was maybe somebody that I wasn't. And, um, a lot of what we're exploring in this module is, is just that. It's, it's being your authentic self. And for those that know Parker Palmer, um, this is probably old news to you, but when you're facilitating other people's discussion, it truly helps when you can say, this is who I am. You take the warts and everything that goes along with it, I'm going to do the absolute best that I can. And you don't even have to say that publicly. It's just, it, it, this emanates from yourself. So I, I welcome you into module number two. And I also encourage you to, to be open, take risks. Um, what we, what we are going to do on October 16th will be our first facilitation. Actually, it's a presentation and I'll get back to that. So what are we doing this week? So let me get, as you can see, this is the overview to the week. I'm going to go to, once again, Module 2, which is encompasses the next four weeks. We have week 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and, and this we'll talk about this in a, in a while, but not today. 
So I'd like you to take a look at this overview video, which you're listening to right now. Materials on what are we doing this week? <clears throat> Once again, here are the here are the overriding questions for the week. These are the course goals for the week and how they tie in with our course. And then the invitation or the specifics what to do this week. So please take a look at take a look at all of this information. Um, try not to rush through it. It's, it's important information and it, and it will help you tremendously when you're putting together and when you're actually facilitating the discussion for us coming up in, in October. Um, to do, finish reading chapter one and six in the Brookville book, do the electronic readings. We have an online discussion this week. And then I want to say prepare, I, I apologize to this. This is 15 to 20 minutes. I thought I, I changed that in all of them. This is prepare for the facilitation number one. This is 15 to 20 minutes, and there's some information in there. And I'll go over this. I, 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 I am going to have a separate video on facilitation one coming out this week. So that is really what we are doing on this week. I'm going to go back to the directions. So we have the overview video, the information sheet that I was just going through. I was going through the actual to-do. We have a discussion topic, and this week we have Sarah and Dua who are facilitating our two discussions or prompts. Sarah is going to be in charge of this one. Dua is going to be in charge of this one. We do it the same way. You go into the discussion topic. You can choose whichever one you want. I'd like you to say in your title question two, and then you click start a new thread. We've been doing this, and, and it's up to our peer, peer facilitators to uh, facilitate our discussion this week. Keep on going down. So here's some more information on the facilitations that are, will be coming up. And I think it's worthwhile that you know, I will have a video, or I may schedule an optional video. Um, Zoom session on each one of these. The first one is October 16th, 10 to 3 p.m. The second one is November 13th. And as you can see in here, facilitation one will be a mini lesson. Really, it's a presentation. So probably there's many people in this class that have done PowerPoint presentations. You could do a presentation. You could use videos. Um, there's all kinds of information in here. 15 to 20 minutes, and I'm going to hold people to this. And it's not that I intentionally want short presentations. I don't. But oftentimes when you're being asked to give a presentation, you will get specific sideboards and time. The reason I pick 15 to 20 minutes, and I'd really like to say 18 as the max, but we can go a couple minutes over, if you watch YouTube videos, usually the maximum time that they allow is, is 18 minutes. And this has to do with attention span. It has to do with a lot of factors. So in here, there's all kinds of information on facilitation one, facilitation two. Now let me go back. So I'm back here with all of the information, planning for your facilitation. Um, facilitation schedule. I'll click on this. This is a discussion forum. Click on that again. This is something that you can you can work on. Uh, if you have any kind of questions, you can post them here. So I'm saying in here, we are going to have a schedule. I'm going to put out a doodle poll and ask for people to sign up so we get slots filled from one to ten we have ten people in our class so if you are number five you will know that you will be number five but i will put that out but this area is meant to be um some people call it a sandbox some people uh, they they refer to it as a parking space you come back to it but you can post any questions that you have in here so that is it for me um, if you have any questions this week please reach out to me 
I appreciate the effort that's going in. I thank our peer facilitators from last week. I thought they just did an excellent job. And good luck for this week, and good luck in, in module number two. Um, being, being vulnerable is just that. It can be a scary place, but I encourage everybody to take to take some risk. Um, if you're used to doing something in the usual way, try something new. And you know, the only the only real reason I can I can look at my own history and say I'm I'm a lot more comfortable now when I'm facilitating or presenting is I try to be true to myself. What am I good at? What what maybe isn't the best thing that I do? And and not bare my soul to the audience and say I'm I'm nervous and I'm scared, but um, I practice. I practice a tremendous amount whenever I do anything like that. And I never used to do that. I used to think, well, you're either good or bad at facilitating or presenting. And now I really believe that it takes practice. It takes hard work. The more you prepare, the more comfortable you will be, the more effective it will be for those that are in the audience and or are participating in a discussion. So good luck this week. Any questions, please fire away. I'm here to help, and I'll see everybody online.